Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number six of exercise eight point one. Question says if angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B, then show that angle A is equal to angle B. So a triangle is given to us where angle A and angle B are acute angles. So here in this triangle, first of all, we have to do a construction. From this vertex C, I have to draw a perpendicular on this AB. Let's draw a perpendicular here and consider this point as D. So now we have two right angle triangles. The first is ACD and the second is CDB. Okay. Now, first of all, we are given that cos A. Now, in triangle ACD is equals to and triangle CDB. Now, in these right angle triangles, we are given uh, that the ratio of cos A is equals to cos B. Now, let's find the ratio for this theta in this triangle. Okay. Now, what is the uh, what is the ratio for cos theta? That is base upon hypotenuse. Okay. Now, for this theta, my base will be this because this is the perpendicular for this theta. So, my base will be AD, and my perpendicular will be A. Uh, sorry, my hypotenuse will be AC. Similarly, here for cos B. In this triangle, CDB. In this triangle, the ratio for this theta will be again based upon hypotenuse, and base here is DB. Upon here, the hypotenuse is C. Okay. Now, what you have to do? You have to exchange these two values. That is AD upon. DB is equal to AC upon CB. This is our first equation. Okay, changing these value won't affect the overall value of this expression. So this is feasible according to mathematics. Okay, now in the second case, now what I have to do? I have to use Pythagoras here and Pythagoras here. Now in the first triangle. In triangle ACD, Pythagoras state that in a right angle triangle, the square of its hypotenuse, that is CA, is equal to the square of its perpendicular, that is CD, plus the square of its base, that is AD. Okay. Now before that, let's consider this equation. Or you can say this complete value is equal to k. So, AD upon let's consider this is equal to k. In that case, the value of AD will be equal to KDB, and similarly, the value of AC will be KCB. Okay. Now, here CA square is equal to this. So in And in second triangle, in triangle CDB, again my hypotenuse squares, that is CB square, is equal to my perpendicular square, that is CD square plus my base square, that is DB square. Now this is my second equation, and this is my third equation. In both the equation, my perpendicular is same. So this perpendicular is common for both the triangles. So Keeping this perpendicular on the left hand side, right hand side, shift these value to the left hand side, and in that case, equation four, second and equation third has equal right hand sides. That is C D square. In that case, C A square minus A D square. Will be equal to here. It will be C B square plus. DB square. Uh, before this statement, you can write 
equating equation second and equation third. In both the sides, CD square is common, and I have equated these two values. <coughs> now here, AD is equals to KDB square, and CA is equals to KCB square. Okay. Now substituting the values. Now CA is equals to K C B square minus here it should be minus and A D is equals to K D B square is equals to C B square minus D B square. Okay. Now here it is K square C B square. Here it is K square D B square. Okay. Because there are two values and the power will be with k square as well as with cb square means the power will be with k as well as with cb so taking k square as common so it will be cb square and here it will be db square and here it will be cb square minus db square now k square will be equal to shifting this value to that side it will be cb square minus db square and in the denominator again it will be cb square minus db square both values can be cancelled and the k square will be equal to 1 so k will be equal to root 1 and the value of k is 1 ok now if the value of k is 1 so substituting that value of k in this equation so my ac will be equal to cb now, if uh, this equation can be considered as A. Now, if in this triangle ABC, we have proved that CA is equal to CB. And we know that in a triangle, if two sides are equal, then the angle opposite to these two sides must be equal. Okay. So here, Using this uh, equation, using equation A, we can confirm that angle A is equal to angle B. And the reason behind this is equal angles opposite to equal sides. Okay, so this is how you can solve this particular question. Thank you.